Hi lovely people, it's Tracy here. How are you going? Um, I am doing my February grateful, what I'm grateful for, so a bit of a wrap up and showing some love and gratefulness for February. February was an interesting month. It was the Page of Cups and these are just a few of the decks that I worked with in February. Um, <clears throat> really interesting, there was a reading by Two Sides Tarot on Instagram and I can't remember, I think I might have wrote it down in my diary, but the Page of Cups came up and her sort of message was, how are you receiving? Like, are you grateful to receive? And it sort of made me think, Am I grateful? Am I a grateful person? I like to think that I can give, but when it's my turn, well, no, I shouldn't say my turn, but when I'm in the receptive mode and somebody's giving something to me, am I being grateful? And it sort of really made me think. Um, and <clears throat> after just watching Lisa's February wrap up, I sort of had this feeling of, you know, the, the devil, I mean, I mean, not the devil, sorry, the death card. The death card has been showing up quite a lot. I haven't reached my death card destination as yet, not until May, not until I hit my birthday, but the page of cups or the, the daughter of cups, it's almost saying, like, are you really grateful? And does it come across as if I'm being sincere? I know sometimes I've sort of caught myself, especially with my son, and I think you see those kinds of relationships when you're with you when you're with people that are most closest to you, because they show you they show it all on their face. Well, he does. <laughs> um, and sometimes I come across and I'll either shut them off or I won't allow that gift that somebody is giving me. I don't allow it just to settle on me. Sometimes I'm in too much of a hurry. Sometimes I just want to get stuff done. Sometimes I just don't want to hang around and, and I lose that moment, that moment that you just don't get back. So the Page of Cups has been a really interesting one where I've really had to stop and look. Even if, you know, if this guy rocked up to you and say, hey, you know, here is something for you. Do I need to be rude to them? Do I need to screw my nose up? Do I need to do any of that? Could I just be gracious? I think that's something that the Page of Cups has taught me this month in February is to be gracious regardless of how it looks. I think that's something really, really important that sometimes we lose the effectiveness of it because it doesn't come in a way that you would expect it to come. Hmm, interesting. Um, so yeah, so I've been working with, like I said, the Wild Unknown, the Tarot Wisdom, the Centennial Rider Waite, which I think I sort of stuffed up because I've edged the cards and the ink has bled and made them a bit sticky. So, oops. Um, also been loving using this little pair my gratitude deck and the New Age Insta Oracle. So they are a beautiful pair and I think I will continue using them during March, um, especially as we're changing seasons as well. So this is, you know, there's lots of, I sort of find that it's, even though the photos are sort of being taken all over the world, there are, you know, different seasons and, different destinations 
I mean, there are some beautiful, I mean, it's a quite a, a wintry kind of feel. Um, so yes, I will continue to use these cards. These are really nice sort of cards I like to use at night time, sort of my bedtime um, sort of ritual, and I'll pull a few cards, and I got this really nice reading, and it was, um, I'll show you. Hang on. So these are, these are the two that came together. And I thought, what? Books and glitter and sparkles. What's that about? And then I thought, oh, it's about astrology. More books on astrology. Yay! <laughs> yes, please. And I actually went to the library on the weekend to get some, um, I was actually looking for a particular book by Jane Spiller, Astrology for the Soul, and I know that she's done a few other books as well. They did not have it. I mean, the library here is not a very big library, and if they didn't have it, then they normally get it down, but some, it, nothing. I thought that was really odd. So, so they are the decks that I, well, you know, that will be a continual one in March. The new decks, and I'm really excited, and they've been sitting on my little um, silk scarf waiting for me to be used for March is the Goddess Tarot. And I really want to get a corner punch to um, smooth out those corners. But this is the card that I will be going with, the Five of Cups. Not really a great card for the month of, of March. Anywho. But yes, I'm looking forward to using this. And in conjunction with that, I'm using the um, Chakra Wisdom Oracle, I think it's called. And super, super um, excited to use it in its new format, its new compact format. So these two, so they look really cute together. I think they look really cute. Okay, so we'll see how that goes. Um, what else did I want to talk about? Yes, yeah, so in the month of February, I did some amazing collaborations. Um, I did my first collaboration um, on talking with Samantha Menzo on Instagram, doing a live stream, talking about our vegan journeys. So that was sort of in the mid of February. And then um, I joined in, in quite a few uh, tags. So there was the um, Confession of a Tarot Addict, which was really, really cool. And on the back of that, so the result of that, so thank you, Willie, when the Thrifty Witch for doing that tag, because what's happened, as things always do, is that when you shine the light on things, um, you know, the little mice scurry away and they don't really want to be seen in, in the light, whatever the mischief they're getting up to. But it's sort of, it's sort of curbed my impulsiveness. Maybe that's what that Five of Cups is about. I don't know, slowing it down, maybe. Who knows, I need to sit with that one for a while. Yes. Um, so yeah, that was a lot of fun, the um, Confessions of a Tarot Addict, and also watching people's um, videos that they did. Um, I did the Hang Ten Tarot Tag with Jeff Burr. That was a lot of fun, and that stretched me no end. <laughs> if you saw that video, you'd be going, whoa, looks like a train wreck. <laughs> Um, but I learnt so much and I'm continuing to use those skills. So thank you very much, Jeff. Um, and then I started to do my self-care series on my channel. Um, I've just uploaded part four today and I was quite hesitant. So there was something, it took me about three goes to sort of feel, am I sharing too much? Is it coming across, is there a message involved here? I didn't want to be like a dumping ground and people feeling sorry for me. That's not what I wanted. That was not the intention at all. 
I really wanted to, one, take a look at myself. And with Eckhart Tolle, as I mentioned in the blurb in the video, he, he asks us to look at ourselves as an observer. So you're having this detached lens, you know, this detached perspective on how you see yourself. And when you're doing these videos and then you're doing the editing afterwards, it's almost like looking at yourself in a different way. And I, I felt a certain compassion, not a certain compassion, I did feel compassion. It, it takes courage to put yourself out there. And I'm not saying that this is a format for everybody. I'm just saying that sometimes it helps to either do it, say it to somebody, um, so they can witness, not necessarily, you know, make comments or anything, but you can ask them just to listen to me while I tell you this. I think that's an important part sometimes that we don't, when we're being delivered a message or when someone's trying to say something, we're not giving that person the time and that they need to deliver it because sometimes it's pretty, it can be tricky. It can be a hard thing to say. So I think in honouring that space, I think there's a lot of healing that can evolve from that. And I think that's where I'm, I'm heading. And Renee at Find Your Light um, spoke about the root chakra in her video, in her latest one, um, and how she's working through that. And I can feel there's so many bits and pieces that, that come up all the time you know I just I think it's different too when you're not um, in a relationship so you don't get that reflection of being with somebody that's with you 24 7 you know that's intimate with you all the time and you get that reaction you get that feedback all the time so when you're by yourself you don't necessarily get that yeah Anyway, I sort of went off on a tangent, but yes. Um, yeah, so the self-care series is up. So I think that's going really well. Um, we'll see if there's a part five. I don't know, but yeah. Um, so yeah, we moved into the Chinese year of the dog. So that was on 16th of Feb. And so this is a year, um, if you follow the Chinese New Year, is it's an earth dog so um yeah i love feng shui it's such an interesting interesting aspect to have and where you're play it's more than just placing things you know it's to do with elements and apparently one of the elements because it's it's to do with wood and paper lighting candles isn't necessarily a good thing because you're sort of tempting <laughs> things to go up in flames which i don't really want to do but yes, um, so that was a really interesting thing. It was a, a free webinar that Feng Shui Serenity did on, yeah, it was mid-Feb that I did, and that was really cool. I love those, those that information. It's really nice. Um, also, we had a lovely moment with my friend. Um, we went out for a coffee, and then we're just being really <laughs> stupid and really silly and got the giggles because we were in this bookshop reading about baby names and all these stupid names that came out. And I mean, silly, very, very silly. So we were like the loudest people in there, cracking out laughing. And then I felt so embarrassed and had to leave. And then um, we went into this crystal shop and I was checking out these crystal skulls. <sighs> yeah, what did I just say about um, Confessions of a Terror Addict? Um, yeah. The miscellaneous tools that you might need. It was a rutilated um, skull, so he was probably about that big. See, I'm calling him a him. But the big mama that was on the top shelf was a citrine skull. No, it wasn't that big. <laughs> it was probably about that big. And she was magnificent. So I am maybe around my birthday I might treat myself to a skull 
that with pretty, pretty amazing energy. Anyway, okay, so I better just wrap it up. Um, also, too, I did, <laughs> yeah, keep going. Um, I did my first tag. So I did the ladder tarot tag, and I had some wonderful video responses from you beautiful people. And I met some wonderful people. Um, this guy, Chris, what's his name? I've written all the people down. Chris, is it 379000? He's from Greece. Um, there was Dead Cheeky that did a really interesting <laughs> video response. Um, at a mum's house, and we had Voyage of an Inner Landscape. She's from Scotland. I mean, wow. Um, we had Renee at Find Your Light. We had Beth, our cat, 75. And Brian Cormac Carr did a video response. Um, we had Diane Jarecki, and who else did I have? We had nobody here, another little Kiwi girl. So, ah, it's awesome. That was a really nice moment of connecting with people and just sharing and learning and seeing how people adapted the tag to, you know, because after a couple of people did it, I sort of realized, oh, that might be a little bit a sensitive issue for some people. And that's something that I'm being aware of also too i think you know with the page of cups he's sort of saying could you not be a little bit more sensitive i think that's what he's telling me you could try to be a little bit more sensitive instead of being so much in a hurry and expecting people to do what you think they're going to do sensitivity tracy it's okay all right, I think that's all I wanted to say. Um, yeah, I, I'm just having so much fun here on YouTube. I just feel really, really creative. I tell you who else I'm really loving is Two Spirit with his, um, Simon at Two Spirit, with his cuppers, catch-up and cards. I've actually sort of slotted that in now as my Saturday morning thing to watch him do his thing. I think, and he's and his interviews, his interviews are really cool. Like he did an interview with Kelly Bear. That's how I got to find out who Kelly Bear was. Sorry, Kelly Bear, <laughs> I didn't know who you were before. Um, and he introduced us to Danielle Nicole who's a new YouTuber. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. I have reached over 100 subscribers. I don't know how that happened, but thank you. Um, that is super, super amazing. I'm just going to stop now because I'm just dribbling on. Oh, can I just sort of add, um, yeah, so Two Spirit, um, love, love, love your vibe. It's so chilled. I love the little meditation that you did at the end of your cup of ketchup and cards and he's next next interviewing Brian Cormac Brian Cormac Carr see how I get really excited I go really fast okay um I'm going to go now i I'm feeling a lot better because I sorted what was going on with my eyes I've been having issues with my eyes for like three or four weeks and I don't necessarily like to go to the doctor I like to do it myself the natural way you know what I'm saying and uh, I had to bite the bullet and do the eye drops and the antibiotics so um, yes I'm on the mend and hopefully can add some mascara it's first world issues mate first world issues but totally totally grateful that February has been a learn, a learnt, a learning curve. That's what I was trying to say. Yeah, there's all those little nuggets of gold. You're just going, mmm, yeah. That was a good one. It's almost like if you're in the Lord of the Rings and if Frodo was saying, like, let's just put some gold in our, he wouldn't say that, but what if I was there? And he's saying, let's put some gold in our pockets 
but you can only fit a certain amount. That's what it sort of felt February was like for me. You can only take a certain amount. Please be gracious when you're receiving the gold that you are given, but don't be too greedy and just be grateful and thankful. Maybe it wasn't as much as you thought you would get, but that's all I'm going to say. Thank you for being here, lovely people, and I will see you next time. I can turn this fucking thing on. Oh my god.